um, about what we need, actually. So um, I just cooked some slides, and then I would demo a prototype, which is uh, two project IDs for, um, sorry? Yeah, I think it is. Two project IDs for uh, the Einstein era. So the first idea is to design a new synchronization app, and the second idea is to modernize the development tools. And the thing is, if the Einstein platform is to be successful, it requires the two first steps to be achieved. I mean, uh, I talked about speed, I talked about relativity, I talked about color, but it's nothing without these two. So synchronization, I'm doing a quick review of what, of what exists. So a lot of people still use NCU for data export under Windows or uh, Mac OS 7.5 to Mac OS 9. And uh, the problem is it only works with all applications. So you can synchronize with, um, um, I think, earlier version of Palm Desktop because they were play based on Claris Organizer. And um, the other problem is, uh, well, Mac OS 9 support is dead. I mean, Mac, Mac Intel boxes do not use uh, Classic. So you cannot run NCU on them. There's something else which is called Newt Sync, and um, it works more or less. I think every time Apple updates iCal, it breaks. Um, I don't use it myself. Actually, I don't use my, uh, I haven't been using my Newton since 2003, so I don't synchronize it, but uh, I heard that it has some problem. And at some point, there was a big flaw in Newt Sync, which is what's text-based interface between the Newton and, and the desktop. So it couldn't cope with uh, non-US names. Mm. So I guess most of you don't care, but the Newton is able to deal with Unicode and, and lots of cool stuff like these modern technologies. In that terms, it's the most modern uh, operating system able to, the first operating system uh, with Unicode support. And um, NewtSync could not cope with this. I, I don't think if it was fixed or, or not. And there's something else I've been involved in, which, involved in, which is a, a scale and the DCL, and uh, actually just not finished. I mean, at some point I succeeded to, to import all the names from my Newton to, to the address book, but just the names, no phone, no address, no, no email address, and the birthdays were uh, actually wrongly imported, just like a lot of people in my address book were born in 2009 and 20. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, Actually, it implements the Newton's native doc protocol. So actually, there was some encryption system. Uh, this was fixed. And uh, it also implements most of the Newton's object system. Actually, we got everything working except weak arrays. Uh, weak arrays, just specific kind of arrays. So I think it's one of the most um, evolved Newton object system implementation, which is not on the Newton. It's in C++. And it's on SourceForge. And you, you have Escal and the DCL, which are both available in SourceForge with MIT li license, which means they just can get the code, fix it, and sell the thing. Um, you don't have, don't have to give any royalty to me or Nicolas or make you work on this project. And just can do whatever you want. And I think Lawrence, uh, Lauren Dudlam, which is a uh, um, Newton user who lives in Washington from Quebec, and he started having a look at this. Uh, but we need, we need something either based on NewTink or this or whatever. And then, uh, I present things more or less in, with development tools. So um, a quick overview of how to develop programs for the Newton or for the Einstein platform. Basically, you need to design interfaces with Newton script objects because it is the way it works. I mean, the, the Newton operating system is made in such a way that there is something called Newt app, which is a kind of C++ application that handles Newton script data, Newton, Newton script views, and every interface has to be designed in Newton script. So you, you can't uh, just develop a Newton um, application just in C++ or com more common languages. But some code can be written in other languages. For example, you can design some uh, if you want to write a chess game just as a Deep Green, this is the way Deep Green works. You can have some C code for the, the chess part and the interface in Newton script. Uh, lower level programs such as Blunt's ATA supports or the 802.11b driver 
are less relevant for a sense platform. So we could actually, the big problem is Newton script, uh, the design of Newton script applications. So uh, Newton script programming, I think I did not forget anything. You've got two options. Newton toolkit, it runs on Windows and Mac OS 7.529. Classic is dead, so it won't work on, on more modern Macs. If you get a MacBook, you can't run this. And you got new death on by Steve Weyer. So it just runs directly on the Newtons, if I, why I wrote native tools. And it's not as intuitive as NTK, and I would say rather it's not as uh, rapid application development. It's not a rapid application development system. You just, uh, uh, it's more difficult to design some interface to design with NTK. So, and about native code development tools, you have the Newton C++ tools. They are based on MPW, which was a very great uh, development environment, but it only runs in classic. Uh, nobody uses this anymore except Newton developers. And um, Eckhart developed the GCC tool chain, which is more or less compatible with the thing, but he has some problems with C++ code because the, uh, it's called the application uh, binary interface, or someone which is different. Actually, the Newton operating system 2.0 and Newton uh, operating system 2.1 has different interfaces to C++ code. I mean, I lost a lot of hair on this. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, <laughs> actually, it's because the, the compilers by Northcroft were updated, and they changed some stuff. Yeah. So, well, with the new super now with the Northcroft C++ compiler, we still have a C practice. You only use different. Yeah, I think so. Oh. Because the, the compiler just generates code which is closer to uh, Newton OS 2.1, the latest compilers. But the code in the system of Newton OS 2.0 has some differences where the, the virtual functions vectors are. So yeah. I had to write some assembly glue. And, uh, anyway, it was a lot of fun. Uh, ago, but I didn't know it started. Are they commonly available? Like no, no, no. You just, you just told me about it. Oh, I don't I, I, I don't. I, that whole page. I think I looked for an SEA that was going to be that, and it didn't show. And I, I just made an assumption I wasn't looking for it. Maybe it wasn't going to show up. It's available, commonly available. What do you mean? That, that, that whole environment is commonly available uh, somewhere in the net. Which, which environment? C. You are? New, Newton C++ tools? Yeah. Yes, they are. They are on UNA. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. And we, we made some improvement to the MPW stuff. And okay. But uh, ACOT's GCC tool chain, it, just, it told me by email. I mean, he never sent me the file because he said, well, you know, I got some basic thing working, but it doesn't work because of C++, which is... Yes, for Einstein, it's not really relevant because uh, you, would, uh, you would use relativity and just develop native libraries and plug into them unless you want some portable, more portable codes. Um, then some other languages. So um, you have Waba, which is a Java virtual machine, and it's currently be uh, worked on by Steve Weyer. Uh, sorry, Sean Luke. Steve Weyer is not working on this. And well, I suggested, but I, I didn't reveal relativity to Sean, but I suggested that he could use the native uh, host Java virtual machine instead of uh, Newton's one, but uh, I didn't understand the idea because I didn't explain everything. But maybe at some point it will use directly the native Java virtual machine, and it may be used to design interfaces. So this is one of the hints possible to design directly Newton programs in Java with Newton script bindings and using the host Java virtual machine, so it would be fast. And uh, Newt Basic, I think this is, the, I'm not sure about the name, Newt Basic, I never uh, use NS it myself. Basic. NS Basic, yeah. Uh, my opinion, in my opinion, it's, it's never really produced Newton style apps. I mean, low quality apps, uh, doesn't, uh, and Little Lisp neither. I mean, we've got some prototypes, but it's not really usable. <laughs> 